In today's video, I'm out here on the west side of Calgary with some of the most amazing views of the downtown core and the Bow River Valley. My name is Ryan Gillard, a real broker, your Calgary realtor, and in this video, I'll take you on a community tour of Patterson, one of my favorite neighborhoods in the entire city. So this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. First things first, I'll just show you a few videos, some of the highlights of this neighborhood. You can see all the rolling hills, some of the views. It's also called Prominence Point, Patterson Hills Prominence Point, um, due to being a very uh, high point of the city. And that's one of the reasons why they built this giant radio tower in the neighborhood. A lot of like, the radio stations and TV channels will use this. And um, you can see some of the stunning views of downtown as well. Next up, let's talk about whereabouts Patterson is uh, on the map here. So we've got downtown Calgary over here, and on the west side of Calgary, we've got Patterson over here. And like I mentioned earlier, Patterson is very, uh, very hilly terrain, lots of views. Here is a relief map of Calgary. You've got the downtown over here, and Patterson is kind of right over here. So this is all going uphill, as you can see, and there's a ridge right here, and Patterson is kind of tucked right into this ridge. So you have parts of the neighborhood that have stunning views of the river valley and you've got parts of the neighborhood that have stunning views of the downtown. And I'll show you on the Google map uh, whereabouts Patterson is. So Calgary over here and then Patterson is right over here. So Coach Hill is kind of this triangular shape and then Patterson is this over here. And I would say if you're in Patterson, to get to downtown is very, very easy if you're, if you're thinking about the commute distance. I'd say it's about a 15 minute drive from Patterson, just straight down Bow Trail. will take you right into downtown Calgary, right over here. So about 15 minutes. And next up, let's talk about some of the schooling options in Patterson. I get these questions quite often, so I thought I would, I'd, I'd tackle this right away. So if you go to the Calgary Board of Education's website, you can punch in your address and it will tell you which schooling options are available to you based on where you live. And so I just punched in Patterson here and there are three options. So Bowness High School is the first one. It's a high school uh, ages 10 to 12 or grades 10 to 12, sorry. So Patterson is over here. To get to Bowness, you have to come down Sarsi Trail into Bowness. Might be like a 10 to 15 minute ride. So it's not terrible, but it's not super close. Not walking distance by any means. And um, I get a lot of questions about Bowness itself. I do think it's a very family friendly neighborhood. There are parts of Bowness that might look a bit kind of slummy, but there are also parts of Bowness that are really nice. So it used to be its own city, and like every city, there are nice parts and there are not so nice parts. And Bowness kind of has that reputation still, but I do think it is changing. It is a very up and coming neighborhood, and it wouldn't concern me at all if I lived in Bowness. Uh, that's just my take on it. Um, the next school, kindergarten to grade six, Olympic Heights School. So this one is in Strathcona Park, very nice neighborhood, very family friendly, very safe. And I'd say it's maybe like a 10 minute drive from Patterson. So here's Patterson again and Strathcona Park is just south of it. And the last school here, Vincent Massey School, it is uh, grade seven to grade nine, so junior high school. And this one is located in Westgate. So again, another maybe 10 minute drive um, from Patterson. Now, most of the best schools in Calgary, I find, are like on the west end of the city, like over here. So there are lots of other private schools around this part of town as well. So you're not really limited to these options. There are others, but uh, they might be private. So the one drawback, I would say, to Patterson is there aren't schooling options directly in the neighborhood, but they're not far off. Um, so you might, not walking distance, but a short car ride. And next up, let's talk about some of the shopping options in Patterson and around the area. So directly in Patterson, there's only one strip mall, and that's kind of at the entrance to the neighborhood. You can kind of see it right over here. I'll pull up the satellite if you can see it a bit better. This section right over here. So there's a gas station and a few stores. So no, there's not a huge amount of shopping directly in the neighborhood, but not far away, there are lots of excellent shopping options. 
So again, here's Patterson. If you go south on on Sarcy Trail, you'll come across West Hills Town Center. That's this giant yellow section over here. And if I pull up their directory, you can see they got everything like clothing, personal care, banking, food, electronics, health and wellness, pets. So there's there's no shortage of shopping in West Hills. It has pretty much everything. And lastly, I find along 85th Street. So again, Patterson over here, 85th Street is this section. There's a lot of shopping here as well. You can see all the stores popping up. So not directly in Patterson um, for shopping options, but not far away, there's excellent options. And next up, let's talk about some of the recreation options in the Patterson area. And the big one here is the West Side Recreation Center. So if you just go south of Patterson along 69th, you'll come across West Side Recreation Center. And I'll pull up their, their website here. So if you just go to their website and press facilities, there's an aquatic park, fitness center, Palladio Studio, Climbing Wall, Leisure Ice Center, there's a hockey arena, fitness studio, cycle studio, gymnasium, skate park, child bending, I'm not sure what that is, rentals, and tenants. So there's all sorts of different things in this complex. One of the best um, sports complexes in the city. And I'm just going to pull up the satellite view again because Patterson is right next to Edworthy Park, which is this section right over here. One of the best parks in the city. And there's all sorts of running trails, biking trails. You can walk your dog in here. You can go to the river. Uh, very cool neighborhood, or very cool area, sorry. And within Patterson itself, there's all sorts of running trails as well. As you can see from the videos I shot when, I, when we started this video, there's all sorts of um, different trails throughout this neighborhood. Great for outdoor lovers. Next up, let's talk about some of the subregions in Patterson. It is a neighborhood that has a mixture of everything. And we'll start up here in this part of Patterson, along Patterson Boulevard. So I'll pull up the satellite view. So as you can see here, Patterson Boulevard, all the homes here are backing onto this ridge, and they have like spectacular views. So I'll show you a property that I sold on Patterson Boulevard a couple years ago. So it sold May 20th, 2021. Our prices are way up since then, so it'll sell for more than $9.55 um, these days. So again, sold for $9.55. This is a bungalow with a walkout basement, 1,844 square feet with a double attached garage. You can see here, nice looking property. They took very good care of it. It was in immaculate condition. Here is the view from the, from the backyard. This is from their balcony, I believe. And, you know, the home, again, fantastic condition, staged very well. Yeah, it was a bit dated though. Obviously, if you were to fix this one up, and renovate it, it would sell for quite a bit more. And you can kind of see from their kitchen here that the view is outstanding. And so you get the idea. And at the bottom of this hill, so again, here we're at, we're at Patterson Boulevard. If you start from up here, you're going downhill the entire way. And then when you get to the bottom here, the point in Patterson Heights, these are all brand new homes built in this area right here. Huge homes, um, very uh, luxury type properties, but the homes kind of all along Patterson Boulevard, they're all built like in the 80s and 90s, I believe, 1996 for this one that I sold. But in this pocket over here, there are brand new properties and some over here too, I believe. The next region of Patterson to talk about is this section kind of over here. You'll find a lot of luxury single family detached homes, big lots, uh, excellent views, um, unique designs. And uh, if you're talking about Patterson, you have to talk about the Hart family. It's one of Calgary's most famous residents, Brett Hart. Their family had their mansion kind of somewhere over here. You know, just kind of Calgary trivia for you.
So we talked about some of the areas that have single family homes. Patterson is actually a neighborhood that has a lot of condos and townhouses as well. And they're kind of in this region over here. Again, this is a giant ridge. And as you're going downhill right here into these hills, you'll see all sorts of different uh, condo complexes and townhouses. And I believe the Olympic Village is actually around here as well, Village Terrace. This is where the Olympic Games, where the residents stayed. And it's a very cool neighborhood, very hilly. It kind of reminds me of like a ski bowl as it's kind of pressed up against the ridge. And it's, uh, I think it's a cool area. Last thing to go over here, I'll just talk about some of the housing stats for Patterson. So let's skim down here. So the total residential price is $499,300. That is very deceiving because there's, there's a lot of entry level condos here. But if you're looking at a single family detached home, average price $1.2 million. So it can be very pricey looking at the detached properties. I don't believe there are any uh, semi detached duplexes in this neighborhood. But again, there are lots of townhouses and apartments. So the average townhouse price, $497,300, up 19.3% year over year, huge increase. And apartments, $248,300, again, very entry level options in this neighborhood for condos, up 17.8%. And uh, the detached homes are up 15% year over year. Now I'll just skip to the bottom here and I'll give you the, the rundown of what a typical property looks like per category. So for, for detached properties, most of them will be two stories. There are some split level homes here as well, but sometimes they just label them as two stories. Um, so 2,641 square feet, quite large. Um, four bedrooms, built in 1996, below ground bedrooms, one. Full bathrooms, three. One half bathroom. Benchmark price, 1.2 million. And uh, move on to the attached, so there are no duplexes again. For townhouses, 1,376 square feet. Two, two bedrooms with a 1995, two full bathrooms, one half bathroom, average price 497, 300. And for apartments, the typical condo that you see here, just under a thousand square feet, two bedrooms with a 1988, one bathroom, asking price about 248,300 on average. Now that's just a quick rundown of the average stats in the neighborhood. But if you have questions about your own specific situation, feel free to reach out. Well, that sums up the Patterson area, one of my favorite neighborhoods in the entire city. Again, if you are watching this and you could use some help, feel free to reach out to me. I'm easy to get a hold of. Call, text, email, you can even comment. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.